Hey all, Jonathan here. Um, well, I ported my uh, HQ2X pixel scaler to my Nintendo finally, so I don't have to use uh, just plain static still images anymore. So I wanted to demonstrate the, that to you guys, uh, just playing Super Mario. So uh, the pixel scaler is off right now, uh, and I will turn it on now. So you can definitely see the difference how it smooths out, especially like in the floor tiles, um, in the the bushes and hills in the background. Um, and if I turn it off, you can see the pixelation. I mean, it, it's it's literally the output is identical to um, the HQ2X pixel scalers and any software emulator that supports it. Uh, there's really only one way to implement the algorithm, so, but I just wanted to show you that I was able to get it ported to my Nintendo, and it actually only adds a couple uh, percent uh, to the resource utilization, which is really cool. I'm really excited about that. It's actually, uh, the version that is in my Nintendo is about 25% uh, of the original implementation size from when I first created it uh, in Verilog, so... I added some some pretty awesome op optimizations. The most uh, beneficial one was uh, BYUU's symmetry optimization that that he uses. He's the the author of uh, the BSNES software software emulator. So um, let me just turn this off and on a couple times. So that's off, and then on, and then off. It just it looks amazing. I'm so impressed with the with the HQ2X algorithm. It's really cool. Um, so I was also able to reduce the amount of VRAM resource usage uh, by implementing a, a few little tricks there. Um, so all, all I'm doing when I'm turning it off is flipping a little dip switch because uh, I know there's purists out there that don't like to have their <laughs> have their image anti-aliased and scaled and they like the pixely stuff so I just have a little dip switch that you can turn on and off and eventually I'll add that so that you can control it. Also control it over the the GUI interface, um, the QT interface that I have. So, But uh, I think that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.